Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous module, we discussed Heron's formula when three sides are given, then how to find the area of a triangle by using Heron's formula. And by using that, we derived the formula for area of a triangle as well as area of an isosceles triangle also. In this module, we are going to discuss very important and of course interesting, maybe not available in your books, that is when four sides of trapezium are given, then how to find the area and what is the formula for area of the trapezium when two parallel sides as well as two non-parallel sides are also given, right. See, this is what we are going to discuss, finding out the area of derivation of area of trapezium area of trapezium when all the four sides are given, when all the four sides are given, right. So, for that I am going to draw one trapezium when all the four sides are given. So, the trapezium is going to be See, this is what is the trapezium when all the four sides are given. Let it be trapezium A, B, C, D trapezium in which the lengths of sides, the length of side A, B is equal to small a units and the length of side D, C is equal to small b units. So, A and B are parallel sides, okay and non-parallel sides are C and D, let it be small c and small d are non-parallel sides. So, then how to find area of this trapezium? So, in order to find area of a trapezium, we know about area of a trapezium when parallel sides are given and the perpendicular distance between both the parallel sides are given as h, then half h into a plus b is the formula for area of trapezium. But now, we do not know what is the distance between both the parallel sides. For that, what am I supposed to do here? A and B are lengths of parallel sides. Of course, both the lengths of parallel sides are unequal in general. For that, I am going to do one thing that taking one point on CD, taking one point on CD such that taking one point on CD for example, this is a point on C D, let this point be some P such that B P otherwise A B is equal to D P. Okay? So, I am joining that point with B. So, clearly this is A, so this is also A, since this is C, this is also C. What kind of quadrilateral is formed by joining that? There is a parallelogram form. Right? So, this is a parallelogram. And of course, this is one triangle is formed there. But observe here, the total length of DC is equal to small b and length of DP is equal to small a. Can you guess what is the length of PC? So, the length of PC is going to be b minus small a, right? So, I can find area of triangle BPC, can find area of triangle BPC by using Heron's formula because when all the three sides are given, just now we discussed about uh, deriving Heron's formula. So, that by using Heron's formula, I can find area of this triangle. But what is the purpose of finding area of triangle? So, at the same time, I am going to drop one perpendicular from B on to the side PC. Okay? Let it be small h. Let this point be for example, M. See here, BM is perpendicular drawn on side PC of triangle BPC. So, that I can find area of triangle BPC also by using half into base into height. So, in order to use that half into base into height, then I can get the value of H, right. But that H at, uh, at the same time the value of H would be the perpendicular distance between both the parallel lines, right? Then I can go back to the original formula for area of uh, trapezium, 
when two parallel sides and perpendicular distance between both the parallel sides are given. So, that is what is my idea in order to find the area of trapezium when all the four sides are given, right. Now, I am just taking the triangle BPC and finding the area by Heron's formula. For this only triangle BPC, the sides are C, D as well as B minus A. Sides are C, D and B minus A and before that, I will confirm one thing that what is the semi perimeter of the trapezium, okay. So, let semi perimeter of trapezium, semi perimeter of trapezium A, B, C, D of trapezium A, B, C, D is going to be S is equal to semi perimeter means sum of all the lengths divided by 2 would be the semi perimeter. So, S is equal to A plus B plus C plus D whole divided by 2, right. By cross multiplication, I would say that A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 2 S. This is one basic idea about semi perimeter of trapezium A, B, C, D, right. Okay, fine. Now, I am going to find out area of triangle B, P, C. Okay. The first thing is finding area of triangle B, P, C. Finding area of triangle B, P, C. So, in order to find area of triangle B, P, C by Heron's formula, S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C under square root, but where that S is the semi perimeter of triangle. So, I will just give a small uh, difference between semi perimeter of trapezium as well as semi perimeter of this triangle. So, let semi perimeter of the triangle is equal to some small s. Okay. So, small s is the semi perimeter. What is that small s here? C plus D plus B minus A whole divided by 2. Okay. So, s is equal to C plus D plus B minus A whole divided by 2 is small s. Okay and where a is equal to small c, b is equal to b minus a, c is equal to d, right. So, I am using Heron's formula to find out area of triangle B, P, C which is equal to square root. Please be very careful in finding this. Square root S into, S into means C plus D plus B minus A whole divided by 2 into S minus A. S means again C plus D plus B minus A divided by 2 minus A means take one of the sides for example, C. Okay. So, C divided by 1 that is S into S minus A into S minus B. S minus B means into what is S here? C plus D plus B minus A whole divided by 2 minus what is B? you can take B minus A. So, that it would be B minus A divided by 1 okay, into S minus C. S minus C means again C plus D plus B minus A whole divided by 2 minus C is nothing but D. So, hope you understand there is no confusion at all. right? So, square root is there for the entire term which is equal to square root See here C plus D plus B minus A, I am writing this in particular order that B plus C plus D minus A divided by 2 into what about this term C plus D plus B minus A minus 2 into C is equal to 2 C whole divided by 2 that is all about the first term and coming to the second term C plus D plus B minus A minus 2 into b is equal to minus 2b. So, minus of minus plus 2 into a is equal to 2a whole divided by 2 into what is the third term here? c plus d plus b minus a minus 2 into d is equal to minus 2d whole divided by 2. Got it? And after that, this is the square root for the entire term which is equal to square root. Now, I am going to simplify this. This is B plus C plus D minus A whole divided by 2 into what is the second term here? 
once you observe this is c minus 2c c minus 2c equal to minus c and minus a remaining b and d both are positive so that i am writing it as b plus d minus a minus c whole divided by 2 and coming here see this is minus a plus 2a is equal to plus a minus 2b plus b is equal to minus b so here in this term the minus term is only b so remaining all the terms are positive so i am writing it as my plus 2a minus a is equal to plus a plus c plus d minus b whole divided by 2 right into coming here minus a minus 2d means b and c both are positive here so that b plus c minus a is there so minus a minus 2d plus d is equal to minus d whole divided by 2 right but now you will have to use your brain in order to simplify this by using a plus b plus c plus d right see here b plus c plus d is there but a is missing so that what am i supposed to do i am adding one a and subtracting one a for balancing the term so then this term will become square root if i add one a then it would be a plus b plus c plus d immediately i will have to subtract one a that minus a and minus a will become minus 2a whole divided by 2 hope you understand this step into coming here b plus d is there but a and c are not there so i am going to add a and c so a plus b plus c plus d again i will have to subtract a and c so minus a minus a is minus 2a minus c minus c is minus 2c so it would be minus 2a minus 2c whole divided by 2 into again a plus b plus c plus d so i need one b a plus b plus c plus d and immediately i will have to subtract one b so it would be minus 2b whole divided by 2 times here what i require i required a as well as d so therefore a plus b plus c plus d i want one a as well as one d so that minus a minus c a means minus 2a minus 2d whole divided by 2 so hope you understand this step it is very much simpler that making every single term as a plus b plus c plus d as a part of that and why are we making it as a plus b plus c plus d because the value of a plus b plus c plus d is going to be 2 yes right so here in a plus b plus c plus d i write 2 s and here also i write 2 s and here also i write 2 s and here also i write 2 s now you see the difference in the formula right so when you observe that square root a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 2 s minus 2a whole divided by 2 this is the first term and here the second term is 2s minus 2a minus 2c i am taking one minus 2 common remaining a plus c whole divided by 2 into here in this term a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 2s minus 2b whole divided by 2 into here in this term a plus b plus c plus d is 2s minus when you take one two common here minus two times a plus d whole divided by two right see finally what we got here two s minus two a divided by two into two s minus of a plus c divided by two into two s minus two b divided by two two s minus two times a plus d divided by two if we once observe this is two s minus two a by two this is two s minus two b by two and after that 2s minus 2 times a plus c by 2, 2s minus 2 times a plus d divided by 2. I am going to write them <coughs> in a particular order that is equal to area of triangle that is square root 2s minus 2a divided by 2 <coughs> is the first term and second one is 2s minus 2b divided by 2 and the third one is 2s minus 2 times a plus c divided by 2 and the fourth term is 2s minus 2 times a plus d whole divided by 2. So, this is what we got finally which is equal to when you take one 2 common here 2 times s minus a by 2. So, 2 2 cancel 
what do you get s minus a and here what do you get similarly s minus b and here what do you get s minus of a plus c and here you get s minus of a plus d this is what is the formula for area of triangle whatever the triangle we had so area of triangle b p c right so area of triangle b p c what we got s minus a into s minus b into s minus of a plus c into s minus of a plus d that is what if you observe s minus a into s minus b into s minus of a plus c into s minus of a plus d after finding area of triangle what we got we got area of triangle bpc by using heron's formula at the same time we can find the area of triangle bpc by using half into base into corresponding height okay so i am going to use that area of triangle bpc is equal to this is the first one similarly we can find area of triangle bpc is equal to half into base into corresponding altitude corresponding altitude so what is the base and what is the corresponding altitude half into base what is base of this triangle if you observe base of the triangle is equal to b minus a corresponding altitude is equal to h so b minus a into corresponding altitude is h is the same area of triangle let it be second one okay see from 1 and 2 what we can say here we can say that when you equate first and second because both are the areas of the same triangle since both are the areas of the same triangle so that i am going to equate them then we get half into b minus a times h is equal to square root whatever it is s minus a times s minus b times s minus of a plus c times s minus of a plus d right but what we want we need the value of h so that make that h a subject therefore the value of h is going to be transposing b minus a divided by 2 that side it would be 2 divided by b minus a so 2 by b minus a into square root s minus a into s minus b into s minus of a plus c into s minus of a plus d right this is the value of h after finding the value of h so that h is obviously the distance between parallel lines also because the h is the altitude for this triangle in the sense what that is the distance between these two parallel lines so distance between parallel lines is given and both the parallel sides are also given then what is the formula for area of trapezium half h into sum of parallel sides here one parallel side is a another parallel side is equal to small b and altitude is equal to h therefore i am directly finding area of trapezium therefore area of trapezium abcd is equal to therefore area of trapezium area of trapezium abcd is equal to half sum of parallel sides that is b plus a into altitude altitude means this entire thing so that entire thing is going to be 2 divided by b minus a into square root s minus a into s minus b into s minus of a plus c into s minus of a plus d right see here 2 and 2 gets cancel so finally we get area of area of trapezium is equal to area is equal to b plus a by b minus a b plus a by b minus a into square root s minus a times s minus b times s minus of a plus c times s minus of a plus d this is what is the formula for area of trapezium so hope you understand this formula is uh, i think nowhere in our books it was uh, uh, i think i don't know why uh, they did not mention this formula when all the four sides are given but 
this is what is the formula when all the four sides of trapezium are given. In fact, we have uh, one formula in second exercise that would be the last problem of exercise 12.2 depending on this. Of course, without using this formula also by using the same facts we can solve the problem, but if you have a ready made formula then uh, it would be more easier for you to get the solution if I am not wrong. So, I repeat what is the formula for uh, area of trapezium when all the four sides are given. So, area of trapezium when all the four sides are given is area of trapezium when all the four sides are given. Here four sides are these two are parallel sides, okay. let it be A and let it be B, but here provided one side must be more than the other side, this is C and this is D. For example, provided B is more than A, B is more than A, when B is more than A and A and B are both the parallel sides, then area of area of trapezium area of trapezium when all the four sides are given is equal to b plus a divided by b minus a into square root s minus a into s minus b into s minus of a plus c into s minus of a plus d. So, this is what is the formula for area of trapezium when all the four sides are given. So, if you remember this formula, I think uh, we can get the answer easily. So, hope you understand and enjoy the class. Thank you.